guys, welcome back to Amy's Art Table. Happy New Year. I thought we would paint this cool VW uh, van today and I think we'll start out by gathering up some supplies and we'll need a pencil and an eraser too. Okay guys, so what I'm first going to do is start by lightly sketching out the VW van and the trees behind it just to give myself a little baseline of where I want to put everything. So I'll put this guy up back here. Okay, so I'm going to start with some sort of a horizon line where I want the ground to be. And I'm going to use basic shapes to sketch out the VW van. It doesn't have to have tons of detail at this point. I just kind of want to get the basics of where things should go. All right, so I've got this funny little shape for the VW van, and then I've got two wheel wells, and um, I'm going to place in the tires and the windows next, but I'm going to go ahead and erase this line, my horizon line here. For whatever reason, I keep making my VW vans scoot it over to the right side of the paper, but if you wanted to, you could center it better. Okay, so I'm going to start chopping away at this. It's got a nice top to it. And true story, my parents actually owned one of these when they were first married. So it's nostalgic for me to think about them driving around in one of these. Okay, so I added a bumper and I added the top portion, slanted the window a little. I'm going to add this second horizon line here. It's not really a horizon line, I should say. I'm going to add this second little detail line of where I'm going to bring my color up to. I'm going to fix this wheel well a little. And these wheel wells are like slightly different. They're not identical. One is slanted and one is curved. I don't know if I'm doing this correctly, but I used a picture as the basis of this painting. So we'll hope it's pretty accurate. All right, just drawing this makes me want to go camping. Okay, so now I'm going to go back and sort of clean up these lines, take away any lines that I don't plan to use because they're just going to confuse me. I work through my sketches until I get them the way that I really want them to be. All right, so that's already looking better. Okay, so let's go ahead and add these tires. So this will come over slightly, and then the tire. We're going to see more of the bottom of the tire than the top because the top will be hidden by the wheel well. All right. I hope everyone had a great New Year celebration. Excited for 2021. 
kind of glad that 2020 is over. It was a really hard year for a lot of people. So we're going to start this new year off with some hope, some renewed sense of hope, right? Okay, I'm going to put in these caps here. So now I sort of have two tires. I'm going to work on the windows. Again, I am not an owner of a VW, so this is probably going to look inaccurate to people that own these, but this is just for fun. It's a sketch. Don't hold me too accountable. I'm just sort of placing these different windows. They're all kind of cool and funky. Last one's a bit curved. Let's get this in. I'm gonna round this off a bit more. So they have that lovely round look to them. And then again, go back and clean up the sketch. Just a little. And then you have some nice placeholders for where things should be. This should be down just a little. All right. Okay, next I'm going to place the tree trunks. So we've got this massive tree, I guess we are in the Sierra Nevada somewhere, maybe. And you've got some thinner trees. I love this. It's, it's actually taken from a photograph, but I love it because it looks like the person just found a cool place to stop and is just ready to camp for the night. So that's awesome. Add a few more trees here. And again, this is gonna be a sketch, guys. So if you wanna take more time and add more detail, feel free. But I'm just going to give you the basics of a sketch, okay? Meaning I realize it doesn't look all that finished. Okay, so here's my sketch. And the first thing that I'm going to do is work on the background. I like to work on the background because the foreground needs more detail. Get some tea. I'm going to start by doing wet on wet watercolor in between the trees. This is going to be how I make the foliage. It's in no means going to be precise. It's going to be very sketchy and loose. So I'm going to paint just water in between the trees. And then we'll start adding in some greens. All right, so I've got some water, and then I'm just going to start adding some yellows and greens, just sort of haphazardly. I'm not even gonna, I'm not going to be precise about this at all. Just gonna add the color, let it bleed around. And then again, the same sort of thing. I'll start adding in some greens.
hit a dab a little bit so we can start getting a little bit of leaf action here. Okay, so now we can kind of tell where the tree trunks are and where the foliage is. We keep adding these different green colors. And maybe even bring in a little bit of gray brown. Okay, and then once I get through this, I'm going to let that dry, and we'll revisit that in a little bit. So the next thing we'll work on will be this road. And again, same thing, I'm going to use wet on wet watercolor. Make sure your brush is pretty clean. Mine has a hint of green in it. Okay. look for a nice dirt color which is going to be a gray, gray brown Start adding this light gray brown color all over the bottom. Try to soften that up and just let it blend nicely. Okay, so I like that color. I'm going to use this color. precise now. I'm going to do work on the windshield here. I'm going to use this as my windows. Same color. This color is going to give this um, van a vintage -y feel. Add a, a little shadow here off to one side. Okay. Blot this in a little bit just to give the window a little bit of a little bit of shadow there. Nice loose watercolor shadow. All right, now same thing. I'm gonna outline this with this nice color. Real softly. Look at that top. Place the bumper in. The bumper is bleeding a little bit with the green, so I'll revisit that later and get it the right color, but. That'll be our placeholder. Now, same thing again. Going to work on these windows just real simply. Leaving blank white space.
are ready for a nice yellow color. I'm going to get this um, this nice bright golden yellow. I'm going to put just a dab of this burnt orange in it just to make it a little bit more golden. I'm just going to paint the whole body. Golden yellow has to be one of my favorite colors of all time. Just love it. It's such a happy color. Okay. Really going to get this guy very yellow, leaving some space for the fenders. While the yellow is still wet, I'm going to come back in with more of this burnt orange color and just add in a shaded area here. As you can tell, I'm not being very precise in this painting. I'm kind of just having fun. All right, so there we go. Got a little bit of shadow on that car. Okay, I think we're at a point where we'll let this guy dry for a little bit. When this top is dry is about the time that we can start adding back in these trees. Let's see, it's mostly dry. And I think I'll give that about 10 minutes to dry and I'll see you right back here. All right guys, I'm going to focus on some grays now. So I'm going to get these grays going for these trees. My trees are mostly dry. I'm just going to very casually paint a nice gray tree here. On each one of these. up to the land. It's okay if it bleeds into the green a little bit. Again, this is a very loose painting. Okay, um, while I have this gray on my brush, I'm going to use it down here on these wheels, on these uh, hubcaps. Should be a little bit of shadow. Turns out kind of nice. I like that color. And then same thing over here. Nice gray shadow. And then move on to another tree.
All right. Now let's see. I'm going to do a little bit more gray with green here, mixing the two, adding more water, getting this really nice and watered up. And then I'm really just going to come in, add some Add some foliage, add some more gray. Just gonna be really, really sort of messy with this. Just want, want to make it look like the foliage is growing off of the tree. I'm adding dark, dark green and gray here. And then I'm gonna go back, add a bit more yellow in the mix. Just a beautiful color that you would find on aspen trees. I just really like that color. Okay, maybe a little bit more over here. All right, I'm liking that. I'm gonna leave it. Let me go and find some black. I'm gonna use this sparingly. So I'm going to get some black on my brush and I'm gonna add water. And then I want this black to be not crazy dark, but I do want it to be darker than the gray that I have been using so that we can see that these are the tires. Something like this. Add a little bit here as well. Okay, again, this is my own personal style. So if you want to add more detail, feel free. Go ahead and get that in front there. Something like that. All right, and now I'm going to get that gray again and just darken the road a bit. 